Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're doing another catch and cook. What do you do with all the leftover fish and chips that you're making? You ate all the chips and you got all the battered fish. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna make some yellowtail taquitos. That's right. Pretty simple, easy to do. I've got some over here already chilling out, but let me show you how we got here. So first thing what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a couple of these chips. Just take the batter off, just pinch it off. It's no big deal until you get to something like this. Then what you're gonna do, just fork it up. There you go, comes out pretty easy. And then what I added to this was some taco seasoning, little hit of cumin, and some lemon pepper. Over here I've got three shells already kind of getting nice and limp. And what I'm gonna do here is in this mixture, since I added some more fish, I'm just gonna mix this all up. Over here, I've got some guacamole. I'm gonna teach you guys how to make that as well too. But what we did is we took four ripe avocados. We've got four tomatoes, one bushel of cilantro, about a quarter of a purple onion, and we have a jalapeno and one banana pepper. So even though I've actually made those ingredients, I'd use probably three of the four tomatoes, kept a little bit there. Of the bushel of cilantro, I probably used about three quarters, left it here. And when I cut the onion, I cut the purple onion in half. I used about half of what I cut up left it here i also chopped up some green onions the benefit to this if someone doesn't like this then what they can do is you can take this mixture and actually make some pico de gallo it's okay take your mixture keep a little bit off to the side and make some pico de gallo so these shells are just about ready let's go ahead and take them off let's go ahead and take these bad boys off go ahead and drain these guys here and you'll see that there's some toothpicks turning out if you don't put the toothpick in it you will actually make a taco but you'll make a big mess in your shell. Always make sure we'll do the toothpicks. Let's show you, let's show you how we did that. So here we got this yellow towel that we had the mixture in. I'm gonna put it in here in this corn tortilla. If you're like me and you like tamales and you hate extra masa and not enough meat, stuff them. It's, it's how you want to make them. Go ahead and stuff the heck out of it. Roll them up, take your toothpick, stab it right down the middle. Hopefully we can get uh, three taquitos out of this. Put it right in here. If your tortilla shell starts to break, that's one of two things. Either you didn't loosen it up long enough so you didn't heat it up, or they're old. Let's go ahead and deep fry these bad boys. Got my oil going at 350. All right, let's let those guys take a bath. Let's go ahead and mix up our guacamole. If you forget all the ingredients, it's pretty simple. Make some pico de gallo and add it to some smashed up avocado. I forgot, we also use a little bit of sea salt in here too as well. You can see it's starting to take form. There you have it, you've got some fresh guacamole. Take about a half lemon here, I'm gonna squeeze it in here. The reason I'm doing that is you don't want that brown, nasty film sediment to set up on top of here. So the lemon juice up here will actually help to uh, do that. Put some saran wrap on the bottom so that we take all the air out. Throw one to two avocado seeds in there as well. That'll prevent it from going brown or minimize the brownage on it. All right, let's give it a nice stir. Let's check out our yellowtail taquitos. They don't have to be the prettiest thing in town, but they are doing their job. And you can see, this is a good sign right here where I didn't heat up my tortillas right enough, but that's okay. These guys are ready, they're nice. They're ready, they're floating. Let's go ahead and get these here. All right, let's give it a shot. Put some in here. We're gonna go ahead and put a little bit of green onion on here, just for presentation. And we're about to have some yellowtail taquitos. Make sure before you do it, take out the toothpick so that way you don't bite yourself. All right, here it is, yellowtail taquitos with homemade guacamole. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you'd like more, subscribe or send us any questions and we'll go ahead and hook you up next time. Take care.